thing about injection molding is that you want to make 50, you want to make 100 in this class. And in the real world, you're going to be making hundreds of thousands or millions. Injection molding is a very common process. It's used to make most plastic things around us. 3D printing is a great process, but injection molding is still the most common way of making commodity plastic parts. I think this class is less about the manufacturing process and more about designing for the manufacturing process. You can really think about optimizing the production process rather than making a one-off product. Injection molding is a process where you create a mold and you load it into an injection molding machine like this. You put in plastic pellets. The machine uses a screw to compress and shoot the plastic into your mold. The mold has some negative areas where molten plastic can flow in and fill up those negative areas and create the part. My product is a shoelace tag. I have two shots happening. The first one is this black part. It's made out of ABS plastic. And then I fill it with a second shot of this elastomeric material to get the contrasting color and sort of a fun tactile feel. In this one mold insert, I actually have two parts. When I put it in one way, I get the first shot, which creates the black part. And then I flip this in the machine, change the material, put the part back in, and then fill it up with this elastomeric plastic. The students are doing all of their own work. They're doing their own design, they're doing their own manufacturing. So in this case, they're actually running the CNC mills that are cutting their molds, and they're running the injection molding machine, setting all the parameters, creating their own programs. It's useful for students to have an experience with this because they learn some of the design guidelines, some of the rules for the design of these types of parts. There are fairly well-known parameters that you need to design within. So having the chance to actually try it and go beyond the theory and actually get to make something is really critical. For more, please visit us at stanford.edu.